So then Friday and Saturday, two more days, a little bit of a north or northeast breeze. But it's breezy out there this morning. We talked about this yesterday, waking up to some breezy conditions. It's obviously cold. We're down in the low in the mid 40s. Then you, you lump in uh, what the wind feels like, and I'll have to get the map ready, but I would imagine we've got a few wind chill values down in the 30s this morning at times when that breeze picks up. Here's the forecast planner. Chilly, low 40s for the next few hours. At least we'll have a ton of sunshine. As we discussed at the start of the newscast, the air is quite dry. Uh, by 9 in the morning, we're up to about 50, and we're not expecting to get much past the upper 50s through the afternoon. Those breezes will continue into the afternoon. Highs today, about 59 at the airport. That's where we were yesterday. Uh, we'll be up around 60 on the east side and the north side, uh, but generally our temperatures remain 5 to 10 degrees colder than average here uh, for the middle of November. This evening, uh, that breeze will finally start to break down. Uh, we'll have a clear sky and we'll get cold again down to 49 degrees by 8 p.m. Lows tomorrow morning since we'll lose the wind and have the clear sky, clear, calm and cold. Those are the three weather seas that usually go together in the winter. We're going to wake up to the 30s tomorrow morning, although uh, we should have a lot uh, calmer conditions and tomorrow afternoon a pretty nice low 60s for many neighborhoods by tomorrow afternoon uh, with uh, I think a return of some fairly calm conditions across the country. It's really cold uh, for many, many folks. Uh, we will keep it cooler than average here across the West for the next week. I think Friday, Saturday, a return of some breezes to start the weekend. That'll keep us in the upper 50s through the weekend. And Zora, next week, low 60s. Of course, Thanksgiving is next Thursday, and it does look like we'll be a bit milder, mid 60s, maybe upper 60s by Turkey Day. All right, thank you for that update. Thank you so much, Justin. As we take a look at your roadways this morning, we're seeing great conditions out there. We're not seeing any big crash.